Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. And uh, in today's video, we're going to be doing a review on my mm -hmm. Aimrite Fury Carbon Fiber Single Roller Railgun. That was a long name. Um, so, and I'll be doing it in three parts. Uh, first, I'll go over the stock specs of how I got it, and then what I added to it, and then my overall opinion and review on the gun. So right here we have my Aimrite Fury. It's a single roller, 110, 100% carbon fiber. Um, I don't know how thick the walls is on this, on the barrel. Um, I don't believe it's foam filled. And it comes with stock 16 millimeter bands. And the when I got this gun, when I got this gun, um, the pretension was set to max. So this is basically a pretension. It's um, already stretched out, and I believe I had it. It was farther back. It was like the bands were stretched out to here, and the stock shaft is. I believe it's an oxide shaft, um, seven millimeter. Uh, it has that tri-cut in the front instead of a rounded tip. And it's a Hawaiian flopper, so that means the flopper is on the bottom, cohesion is on the top. And it came with these notched, um, these grooves notched. So, and yes, they're rounded so they won't cut into your wish your spectra or dyneema wishbone um so euro styled notched notch so if you're gonna buy new shafts for the gun then it's you have to buy the euro now <clears throat> a unique feature to aim rights if you haven't already known know, know this is that they have a trigger safety mech so instead of a, a button release here, like most Euro guns have, aim rights have this trigger safety. So you have to pull the trigger, the safety, and then the trigger to fire. Um, also, it comes with a 35 meter reel, Fury reel. Um, and you have a choice of getting red or blue Dyneema reel line. Now, <clears throat> as far as what I've added to the gun, so like I said, the stock shaft was a seven millimeter uh, notch shaft with a tri-cut. So after I bent this one in that, that epic diving day video, I went ahead and got what I prefer, which is a Rife Euroshaft 7.5 millimeter, millimeter. Um, again, Hawaiian flopper, but the tip is rounded, not tri cut. And I go with the mini tabs. And the reason why I go with the mini tabs is because I believe it's just my opinion, but I believe the larger tabs might throw off the hydrodynamics of the shot. So I I like the low profile look of the mini tabs and rife shafts are pretty and you know they're really good so that's what the shaft I got on it also I will be I'm waiting on a third shaft for um my gun and it's an eight millimeter thread rife threaded shaft so basically this the same shaft but eight millimeter and it's threaded at the tip um I have that I'm going to be running that with the Neptonic slip tip with Spectra and that will be for when I blew water for Onos. Also, I got this High Viz Monster Yellow from Neptonics 200 pound monoline. Yes, I like yellow. So, yeah. Um, now, when I got this gun, it was, it was, when it came out of the box, it was ready to shoot. It had shooting line, had a shooting line, the real line, band pretension set. It didn't have this um, shock cord. It doesn't, it didn't come with it. 
I added this myself. Um, and when I had them, had it at max pretension, believe it or not, it's, I could pull it, but the, this Dyneema is pretty thin. So if it was rope, I think it would be better. I think you could ask Kylie or Aimright to, to add rope instead of Spectra Dyneema. But, um, I, I went ahead and got Neponics Lotus Assist to, uh, to help me load this. It makes life so much easier. It's like butter. Um, and as far as this safety trigger, it took me probably a whole dive maybe to, to actually get used to it. Um, but yeah, uh, it's not too big of a deal now. Um, I, I, it actually, it actually helped me to, uh, train myself to not hold the, the gun when I'm on the bottom. Um, I actually, if I do hold it, I'm just holding it lightly like this. Um, and that helps me save energy as well. Also, I think for in the future investment, when I get the Wrath or the Rage, either or, um, I, I like the fact those are cuttlefish design. This one is not, it's just a cylinder barrel. And one thing, it's a lot easier to track than my cap. But still, the one thing I notice if I'm making a large sweeping movement is that the bands will vibrate. So like a underwater. So that's that's the only two things I or three things I I found like iffy about was the trig the safety trigger, um, the vibration of the bands when I'm doing large sweeping movements, and the fact that I couldn't load it um, without a load assist. So. Yeah, I took it out right out of the box and thought I could test it out, but ended up having to wait till I got the Neptonics load assist. Now, my overall opinion and review of the gun. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me, is it worth what I spent? And yes, it is definitely worth the money. Um, Honestly, if you haven't, if you don't already know, I sold my cap um, specifically because it was really hard to go back to a standard gun with the bands and all that um, after shooting this roller gun. Uh, this roller gun has literally no recoil, but tons of power, super accurate, and um, you know, you just, it's just one motion of loading. It's I find it a lot faster to reload this roller gun, even though I need a, a load assist, because you're just it has the power of like two or three bands, but you're only loading one band, so it makes reloading a lot faster. And you know, how many times have you guys gone out and? You you thought you had a really good shot on the a yellow spot or uku or mu, dive bombing whatever, and you shoot missed and they stuck around, and a quick reload makes all the difference when it comes down to tr getting that second shot. So, um, <clears throat> so yeah, I do believe it's worth the money. Um, again, I cannot go back to. A standard gun or you know th this gun has no recoil no vibration it doesn't hurt my hand like the cap did after I went back to it and note when I did get the cap I thought that was the best gun ever and I still don't I don't take away anything from the cap it's still an awesome gun it's just I'm more of a pipe gun preference wise and this is the first time I've bought a hefty gun at that price so definitely worth the money um with that said in future videos later this year you will see me with a new gun um 
it's going to be the bigger, better version of this gun. Um, so yeah, uh, what else do I have to go over? Um, I hope this, for those of you have, that have been reaching out to me and asking me about this particular gun, the Fury, um, I hope I've answered your questions. Um, if you have more questions, go ahead and send me DMs on Instagram or here on YouTube. Uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at tunelife808. Uh, you can DM me directly there. A lot of you have been, and I've I've done my I'm trying my best to answer you guys as as well as I can. So um, I do appreciate all the support, all the following, and interactions I have with you guys. Um, so yeah, I guess until the next video guys, shoot.